Last week, trading in the US stock market unfolded quite buoyantly. Despite the fact that the main indices have changed slightly for the whole week, the overall sentiment remains positive. The reporting season continues. Earnings results of many big companies included in the benchmark indices exceeded expectations. Watch our video review and learn about the opinion of analysts about whether the US stock market keeps on rising in the near future. The Dow Jones has remained almost unchanged since last week. Its quote reached the previously predicted level of 35,000 but with a subsequent correction. Now the index is trading at the level of 34,980. Currently the forecasts remain the same. Companies continue to publish their earnings reports for the first half of the year. So far, the dynamic has been rather mixed as firms of the tech sector have posted weaker than expected results. The Dow is highly likely to trade in the same range of 34,700 35,100. The S&P 500 index also traded sluggishly. It got stuck at the level of 4,405. The index remains flat due to fears of possible quarantine restrictions, which are already being discussed in the US. The index may also be unable to climb higher next week, as the risk of coronavirus restrictions will persist. So the S&P 500 is likely to stay in the range of 4,350-4,450. The Nasdaq Composite showed a similar dynamic. Last week its quote even fell slightly, reaching 14,980 due to the weak quarterly results of some market giants. For example, Visa shares fell by more than 2%, while e-home household shares lost almost 29%. This is why experts are quite cautious in their forecasts. They are uncertain whether the Nasdaq Composite could rise above 15,100. Individually, shares of companies from various sectors grew unevenly. In particular, companies of the utilities, consumer goods and telecommunications have experienced a noticeable increase over the past week. Yet, the shares of commodity and industrial giants sank slightly. Shares of DXC technology have advanced by more than 6% in a week. This US technology corporation has posted upbeat earnings results for the last quarter. Square shares dropped by 2.5% in the pre-market after Jack Dorsey's payment company announced a record $29 billion deal to snap up Australia's afterpay. It is also recommended to monitor the quotes of Alibaba, General Motors, ConocoPhillips, Booking and Uber. These companies are expected to show positive quarterly results. In general, investors continue to assess the prospects for the US economic recovery. Apart from that, they are also closely following the release of positive earnings reports by a number of large US companies during the reporting season. Positive quarterly results and the decline in the yield of the US government bonds are sure to bolster the growth of the stock market. However, investors keep in mind the potential risks as well, namely the deterioration of the epidemiological situation and an increase in inflation. You've watched Weekly Financial Review with me, Anna Kasatkina. Stay tuned.